This is a quick little diagram I drew up of our DIY pre-charge circuit. So this would be our battery pack and the positive terminal which goes to our circuit breaker. And it comes out of our circuit breaker feeding our speed controller. Our pre-charge circuit connects to the battery side of the circuit breaker with a, in this situation, a 10 watt, 1 kilojoule resistor, which then goes to a small switch that connects up to the other side of our circuit breaker. So this way, when the circuit breaker is off, there's no power getting across. The battery is separated from the whole rest of the system. But, when, if and when you push this momentary switch, like a push button switch, it connects this like jumper circuit bypassing the circuit breaker through a resistor and lets the just a small amount of uh, voltage across at a time so this way we slowly fill up the capacitors in the speed controller whereas without a pre-charged circuit let's say the system's been down you know you haven't used it for a couple of days or something like that you go to use it and you turn this breaker on the capacitors in the speed controller are empty so they want to suck up and draw a whole bunch of energy quick to fill themselves up the switch in your circuit breaker is going to see that big giant surge of energy and could potentially damage the contacts in your circuit breaker but also the capacitors get that big giant surge of energy it's called an inrush and can blow out your capacitors if not the first time over time so with a pre-charged circuit like this, we can, before use, connect our pre-charged circuit or engage our pre-charged circuit, slowly fill up the capacitors in the speed controller. It only takes like 30 seconds or so. And then, when we flip the main switch on, this, the capacitors are already filled up. So basically the battery and the capacitors in the speed controller are at the same level so that way when we switch flip the switch on it's just making a connection there's no energy or not a big giant bunch of energy running across because it's already equalized hopefully that explains it a bit and yeah Alrighty, I have now installed a pre-charge circuit. This right here is a 10 watt, 1 kilojoule resistor. And we have a switch. And then it crosses from one side of our breaker to the other side of our breaker. This is our power inside. So I got the resistor on the power inside and the switch between the resistor and the contactor. So the switch sees the reduced voltage. But it's also a, a DC rated switch. Let's see what we've got here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 125 volt DC at 0 0.03 amps. Or no, 0 0.6 amps at 125 volts DC, 0.3 amps at 250 volts DC. So going by that, at 60 volts DC, we should get at least 1.2 amps. Alrighty, yeah, me just set up here. Got our negative terminal hooked on the negative of the battery these two batteries are in series and then these three batteries are also in series so this would be our positive terminal and, oh. there we go so our battery pack is showing 64.9 volts and then, let's see here, on our, let's 
see, the input side of our contactor. We got our 64.9 volts. And that's right from the battery terminal to the contactor. 64.9. Right now, the contactor is off, and therefore this side of the contactor. Now we're showing 1.7. So that must be the residual current in the capacitors in the speed controller. Back here. Alrighty. No worry. And then, just to show how our precharge circuit works, push this button here. Our voltage will be able to jump across to this side and slowly fill up our capacitors while the switch is still off. So it'll just be a reduced amount of voltage. So, let's try and get both in frame here. Switch right here. Engaged. And that's only what, maybe 30 seconds? There we go. We're up to the 64 volts. So I can release our precharge and our caps our system showing 64 volts or in the caps anyways with the switch still off this way when the switch gets turned on now the switch won't see a hard inrush of current across the contacts but also the caps in our the capacitors in our speed controller won't see that huge inrush either because they've already been filled up slowly with our precharge. Now we can turn our breaker on. The system is energized. Switch on. Demonstrates our precharge circuit here.